Okay, hello, welcome. It's smarthelping.com. Today we're going over another uh, Excel template that I've built, and this is great for database creation and automated database database creation. So what have we got here? Well, it's real simple, and this could be super modified to whatever you want. But you basically, we've got our validation here. We've got our input card here. And then we've got our database that's going to put all the data in here automatically every time we hit the button. And then we got analysis, which could be done however you like, but I've just put together an example analysis. So some interesting things about this template. Uh, it has conditional drop-downs. So if you see here, if you see the fruit, you can pick between oranges and apples if you pick apples you can see the next drawdown is between blue green red and yellow but if you pick oranges the next drop down is now hard soft sweet sour and this could be done you know you could have all kinds of different validations set up for for specific employees or names uh, it there's you can go a, a million levels deep if you want. It doesn't matter however you want to do it. Um, and I include that in the price of this model. Um, any kind of adjustments to meet the needs of how your business needs to be needs to track this information. So we've got the input card. You put in all kinds. Of, you could actually one of the common uses here would be an invoice uh, invoice data. So you could put in like the date. The salesperson. Uh, we I just have employee number here, but you could put in uh, the sale amount. You could have different types of things that describe what was sold here with the data validation. Um, and then here, so here's a cool part. So we're gonna start adding records just so you can see how it works. So let's say we're in February 2016, and we've got Terry, and we're gonna say he's so sold an apple that was green and we hit input data and now you can see here look at what just popped up in the next row down Feb 1 Terry apple green now if we hit it again let's say this time it was orange and it was soft and this was on let's say February 5th let's input the date again we go over to our database oh now look at what's the next record Feb 5 Terry same employee number because I haven't changed that at all and then you got oranges and soft so now we go over to our analysis here and you can see I've got a general table here that shows how many apples and oranges are related to each employee. So Tim's got one orange, John's got two apples and two oranges, Carrick's got one apple, Terry's got one apple and one orange. That all feeds off this this database and I'll show you the connection there. Let's say let's say we want to add Greg has uh one more orange. We go to our thing here, put in Craig, he needs orange. We'll do a sweet orange and we'll make this uh, at the end of the year in October hit input you see that pops in right there this updated now look at that it's showing one here obviously I'm not clicking in the cells to give away the formulas but it's not that complex uh, and then we've got our tracking here and you can see we had a Craig he just had a pop-up here in October this is by date and it says what apples and what oranges were um, related to each employee now I could change this let's say I put it to Terry watch the numbers change Terry's got just those two in February and you can see his chart is right here so this could be done you could have as many charts as you want they're really simple to create you could report on a weekly basis a daily yearly um, you can do all kinds of stuff once you the key is once you have the information in a nice clean database formatted well you could do all kinds of stuff with it 
So this is kind of a, a really simple but really useful um, database creation tool for those that just want something that's not expensive. You know, you can give it to your employees if you want. Whenever they do something or, or it needs to be added, they just simply put in the inputs here and hit the input uh, data and it does everything else for you. Now I kind of glanced over the the whole conditional formatting with the dependent drop downs. So that's almost a, a simple template in itself, but usually when you're using dependent drop downs, you are doing that because you're you're then building off of whatever inputs you got to to make something. So I've just done a done an example of the is an input card for a database and you can do analysis here. So let's do, let's say we want to pump up Craig's numbers here for apples, green apples. So let's just do a whole bunch. Click down a bunch of times now. Let's see the analysis. Look at Craig now. He's got 15 apples in October, 16 total, and one orange. And there's, you can see his chart has. 15 value of 15 for October <clears throat> now if you want to clear this or if you make if you accidentally input a, a record that wasn't right well what you're gonna want to do is clear off the data so say I say somewhere here we wanted to clear off this data we the, actually this the only way to do it to make sure that the structure is not damaged you just click on the row number out here and just delete the row and that doesn't mess up any of the analytics or you don't get any errors or anything if you do that so we could delete as many rows as we want obviously it would affect the analysis because it would change the number of values for everybody but you don't get any errors so that's good you don't want to just clear the data in between and leave a space because now then it would well I guess you could do that let's see if we just cleared contents we didn't put data the next data paste would come in there and then the next one would come to the bottom so you could do that if you wanted <clears throat> alright well I think that about covers it uh, if you want some consultation services and and set up with this, you know, there's just so many uses that could be done with the simple um, application. I'll be happy to help you. You could contact me at smarthelping.com, and uh, there's a link in the description box below the video here. If you want to go to click on over to the website and see more about this specific Excel. Uh, template as well as any updates that I may have in the future for it.